Champion Vino Rosso made a splash at the Phasic Tipton July sale when he had eight yearlings sell for six figures. Now with the Phasic Tipton Saratoga sale on the horizon, we stopped in and visited a few yearlings who will be going through the sales ring in Saratoga. With Vino Rosso, I think the biggest thing we loved about him is when we started going out and looking at all of the foals, is he was really stamping them. That was the one theme that we got from Vino more than uh, any of the other stallions out of this group was just how consistent they were. And they kind of look like the better curlings. They're not too uh, coarse. They're not too heavy. They're more of a refined looking horse. And they seem to be horses that are, you know, very correct. Vino had a really good sell at July. And I think that really set us up for rolling into Saratoga and then rolling into the Keeneland sale because people kind of got to look at them liked them, liked what they saw. We know the end users are gonna love them. And Kenny McPeak buying three of them, you know, that was a huge stamp, you know, for the horse there. But I look forward to seeing what happens out here at Saratoga and, and rolling right on into Keeneland September. Vino Rosso, Money Madness, Colt, who's going to Saratoga uh, first night. He uh, purchased him out of the November sale last year for $100,000. Um, he was bred by Nobu Araki's uh, Polo Green Stable. He's a half brother to a very good horse that Ellen J. Foxwood owns named uh, Boardroom. To me, he looks very fast. Um, I think we've, uh, you know, dad, myself, really, and others kind of fell in love with his hind leg and this kind of attitude when he was a foal. Um, and feel like he's really progressed since that time. I'll say that in prep, he has been a workhorse. He just has really enjoyed exercise, he's enjoyed work. And so we hope that we're bringing a nice horse up there and that the buyers feel the same way. This is uh, HIP 115, uh, Veneroso Colt out of America War Relic uh, that's going with Denali Stud, was raised here at Elm Tree. He's been a very, very nice Colt ever since he was born. He's just developed. He's a very kind horse. He's, he does everything we ask him to do uh, through the prepping process. And you hear that all the time, but he, he's a horse that's been been a joy to be around. We're very proud of him. We think people will like him. He's very athletic. We think he's a special horse. We're, uh, we're excited about, you know, what the future holds for Vino. You know, if they, they have any of that curling, you know, blood running through them there, which they do, you know, it just every time you look up every weekend, you see something, you know, from that sire line having success. So, you know, we're excited. You know, we'd been wanting a son of curling and you know, when we had a chance to be able to acquire Vino and have Vinny and Mike, you know, stay in for a leg on the horse, you know, it was a no brainer for us. You know, it won't be that long. We'll be looking up and you know, there's gonna be Vino's in the two-year-old sales and, and Vino's going racing. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like or a comment and subscribe to our channel for more content from the TDN.